Alright guys, just on a walk out with his lordship. I don't know, he got a couple of ticks on him. And uh, it panics me when you get ticks. Oh, I just found these in the tree and I thought I'd tell you about this piece of land one day. This is the mineral line. It's the other end of the line I've took you down with. We're going this way today. Um, no gimbal, so it's going to be a bit rockety. I'll do the best I can. It's not going to be all floaty like it usually is. But it's a bit dull and I thought I'd do some sort of, just some views of my walks very close by to the house. I sort of step off my uh, little plot on a council estate and I climb over a little valley and then I hit the old mine, uh, mining lines, these are all raised lines, if you can see them, the fields are lower. And that's good low old road up there. It's a sort of, good low road still used in Wigan, but that end of it, it it's just really residential and access, and as you can see, there's the council houses. And it's a muddy path, so what I thought I'd do is I'd... Oh, Cap, did he make you jump? It's okay. All right, buddy. It's okay, gussy. He's looking after me. That's all it is, he is a bang. Yeah, so I thought I'd just do a few shots today as I walk down, take him out this way. Um, let's say I'm off to think. <laughs> Can you see these council houses through there? They're only like... A... Really, they're not more than a two or two down, but... Some of them, well, all of them they've had like... Put a third bedroom and a bloody bathroom upstairs. But it's better than a fucking pump, I swear. It doesn't matter. It's better than a uh, bench, sort of. It's another contract, isn't it? Let's face it. And uh, you just make of it what you will. You're a good boy, anyway. Go see. Oh, gosh. Right, so what I'll do is now... Uh, oh, see, I could quite happily leave this camera on forever, but if I do that, it's just going to be me hobbling down the path and uh, concentrating on my footing. I'm trying to keep the camera steady as well. <laughs> oh, I don't know. So what I'm going to do is, we'll see what happens. Mm, what was I up to last time? I think it was my mum. Perhaps my mum. Perhaps that's the best place, isn't it? <clears throat> and uh, I suppose at this point I should say, if I offend any of my relatives, <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, right, so here's the park coming up. And I normally have a stand around. I'm not going to talk here because we're in people's back gardens. So people's back gardens. And they're all over. Too much. There's, 
in a place like this. It's hard to live close together, isn't it? I'm sure you get used to it or you just switch off. Perhaps that's the key. I don't know. To seaside places. Light's different in a place like that. <laughs> and it changes moment to moment. Anyway, there's Putin. And I've got a decent cut. I'll see you in a minute. Maybe I won't. Yeah, I thought I'd show you this. You see this green? Yeah, see how beautiful it is? Can you see? I'll come down in a few weeks. It might be even a few days. I know I did it with the bluebells. And for anyone, right, of all the... I know when bluebells come up, I was trying to... give you something. <laughs> I know when bluebells come up. I know when they're going to be there. I know, but... Do you see? Anyway. Perhaps you didn't watch the videos. <clears throat> I told you you were going to get a story. I didn't say it was going to be interesting. Right, but back to these things. Can you see? How, how it, it, it is, I mean, it's quite beautiful on the screen. There's a blue belt. Yeah. And see how far it stretches. And can you see below it? It's just that plant. That's all it is. Yeah. <clears throat> right, can you see over there? You see all that green? I mean, I'd take you for a walk through it, but I don't want to ruin the effect. It's... Right, can you see we've got paths, yeah? Now, remember the bluebells? The bluebells. The deers walked through them. And they chomped on the hills. Did you notice on top of the hills that the bluebells had all been kicked up? Well, that weren't cat, that was, that was, that's deer and, well, all sorts of animals. Badgers love them, bluebells. Dig them up in a minute. So, but, you see how far that stretches on? See, it doesn't matter how floaty this is, because I'd swim to, see? Um, and, <laughs> If you think the bluebells go off with a bang, just wait till I take you for a walk in the next few weeks. And they last, I can't, to, to be honest, right, I'm gonna come clean. This stuff here, it's rather beautiful. It has a pink flower, but I won't be able to see my height into the woods right the way through the woods here you won't be able to see your height into the woods and there's another path that way it sort of takes you round the back and you go back up the path yeah anyway i was going to turn you off and just do bits weren't i you've got a comparison you see that's what i was trying to do with the uh, the bluebells I I don't know. Some of us chance across the bluebells. Some of us need them. And I need them. Winter hurts. Anyway. <clears throat> but I know when they're coming. <laughs> uh, spring, summer, ace. It's... It's a renewal, isn't it? It's just like... Yeah. We try and eat enough of the things we've kept through the winter. Well, that's the way it's meant to happen. And then spring comes and... You can eat on the move and everything. I mean, the first few weeks, see this, see this, see this. Oh, I thought, oh, 
First few weeks of Hawthorne. Those fresh buds. Oh God, have you ever tasted them? And they're tiny, but get enough of them. <clears throat> My granddad used to call this bread and cheese. <laughs> anyway. Yee. What else is it? I don't know. Oh yeah, we were on about the um, barn, weren't we? Himalayan barn, that is. It's Himalayan. <laughs> I think it was introduced by the rivers, the water boards authority. You know the people that don't exist anymore? The people that are now a private concern, volunteers, awarded bonuses from the government now. Yeah. Um... I don't know neither, I really don't, but I know waterways, and anyway. Why do you think we're getting, flooding isn't down to the weather, flooding's down to the maintenance of the country, but I'm not, we're selling all of our stuff off to people who don't understand how to look after the country anymore. Do you see what I'm saying? Equestrian sand pits everywhere, and nobody's clearing the ditches. Anyway, Himalayan barn. So that's introduced to try and keep the banks together on the rivers. And it's swallowing everything up. Nothing survives it. Do you know what? There are others, and I can list them off to you, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to, because I might start swearing and get upset. Which way? What was the dog in? We'll go slowly this way. It's starting to rain now. So, go and have a look what they're doing. I'm not. Do you know what? I get, should we have a talk about tunnels? Should we have a talk about children in tunnels? Children being kept in tunnels, mate, you, right, keep talking about the rabbit hole, huh? children have always been in tunnels, it's a metaphor, the same tunnels you find yourself in, same rabbit holes, but they're not our rabbit holes, they're their rabbit holes, <clears throat> I'll do, buddy. All right. Not so bad at all. Good so, uh, do you see what I'm trying to say? I'm not saying there's no kids in tunnels somewhere. That isn't what I'm trying to say. But being rescued out of the tunnels isn't. They're not going to take soldiers in to rescue these kids out the tunnels. They're in there, and they're your kids. My kids. <sighs> Rabbit holes. Know what I'm saying? I hope so. Stop looking for kids in tunnels. Maybe I'm wrong. That's how deep the dream goes. They'd go nice round your garden, wouldn't they? Wonder what they're doing here. Wonder where they've come from. Do we know? I don't know. Yeah. So, just whatever you think you're thinking. <laughs> And at this point, I'd like to say I've been taken away and locked up a number of times and not through crime, through voicing my opinion. 
And then they found out I had a spinal injury. <clears throat> now nobody wants to talk to me. So yeah. So them angels, you know them angels that want to rise, they want to rise, those angels, because the doctors are getting rises, so so should the angels. <coughs> Oops. Do you think they should get a rise? I said, I think it's the last video about the rainbow and Oh, it's almost sad what it means now. Hope. Remember they called hospitals? Hope, whatever. Saint this, saint that. You know when nuns gave you the hope, gave you the care, gave you the thought, understood you, wanted to show you the light. I oh, know it was a religion, no one it, it was a religion. What you've got to remember is they are the priests, they are the nuns, they are the light workers, they are the carers, they're the ones who work, they're the ones with the brain like you. And they do it for nothing, they do it for love. It's a vocation. What's a vocation? Now, I know what a vocation is today, because we study for it. And because we studied for it, well, hey, guess what? Certificates mean you get paid, because it's a contract. Granddad backwards, I think it is. Hmm. Yeah. It's all shaky and wobbly, isn't it? Because, well, I wanted to show you what it's like. I don't know how I walk. I get that. Still got a box around that one. I thought I'd just I know we, we you've sort of been here before but not in the way not not in the was, we were talking weren't we me and the old man about the new side. See how new this side can you see all the flowers? Come on Poo So I was talking about my mum, wasn't I? I don't know. There's a few directions I could go with that because it's, it's just one of them, isn't it? So my mum was an opera singer. <laughs> Give you a few facts. My mum loved Fagan. <laughs> How else would the children survive? After all, Bill Sykes. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so I grew up with people like Mary Martin. Rex Harrison, Julie Andrews, Johnny Mathis. My mum was friends with the spinners. <laughs> Shirley Bassey, Tom Jones, all them like, you know. And I don't, I don't, sometimes they were singing it, sometimes my mum was singing it, and then sometimes it'd be 
Oh, they offer us a lot of them, Jim. <laughs> I'm not going to give you lists of names of the operas. I don't know. So, <laughs> I had my mum's voice in the womb. I'm not trying to say I remember it, I'm just saying. <clears throat> and then, as a baby, I had my mum's voice. Lay in a cot on the lawn at the back of the Morris Dancers in Skaysbury. Where we lived in Bersco, it was about, I don't know, maybe maybe three quarters of a mile, maybe half a mile as the crow flies from the back of our house across cornfields to the canal. <laughs> and I used to go fishing down the canal with my mates and it'd get like, you know, I'm talking sort of nine, ten, eleven, something like that. She could shout me over four <laughs> eight acre fields. I'll tell you now, I know she could because she did almost every night I was out. Friday, Saturday. Do you know what? Sometimes I'd be down the village, <laughs> which is a couple of miles away, and I could hear my mum shouting my name. Only once or twice, but it had come. <laughs> Skill field, mum shouting my name. Anyway, <laughs> who have you been with? What have you been doing? All, all the things, you know. I was a good kid. <laughs> I don't know. And we were on about religion, weren't we? So you can imagine, my mum got into this uh, Jehovah's Witnesses. Um, I've said, eldest of my brothers is 16 years older than me. The youngest, the twins, are 11 years older than me. So by the time I was old enough to realize the world, they were leaving home, they were on the way. My mum was 40 when she had me. <clears throat> I don't know where we're going with this now. I suppose what I'm trying to tell you is, again, my mum gave up her life for a man. And it, it was, a, she died, believe me, I'm not going to name names, I'm not going to say people, I'm not. <clears throat> Let's not forget, Liverpool at the time was buzzing with all kinds of famous stars and entertainment and everything else. But <laughs> she had another man in her life, didn't she? My granddad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. How complicated does the world get? Do you see when you... You go in... You start to think about, well, how did I get here? How, how did I become this multifaceted faith? Do you know what I'm saying? How, how do I think about things so much that lead me to a point of knowing that if something needed to be done, there'd always be somebody that stepped forward to do it. You don't have to pay anyone to do anything. We really... I'm going to shut up one day. Everybody wants to do these things. That's what the world doesn't get. People want to work. They want to go out. They want to do things.
what you've got to work out is what is anything worth? And who puts that worth on it? I heard somebody talking the other day about art and how much it can sell for and how much it can sell for if a rich person starts buying it. I don't know. Have you been and got a car lately? I don't suppose a lot of you have. I'm just... Right, my car is the only thing that makes me feel like I'm in the world with him. Do you understand? And when I go for it, I'm treated like, like a sir. It's unbelievable. It's almost a bit ooh, creepy. But I know that what that's all about. Do you know, there's there's all kinds of videos on the internet and they, tell, they give you the answers to all of this. They really do. But for every one of them, there's a million that tell you it's easier if you don't think about it. I'm not trying to give an answer. I really am not. I'm just walking along thinking out loud. I don't know. I didn't think of the name. It's nothing to do with me. <laughs> Where were we? Me mum. Right. Whoever's listening, if you've got this far, I don't know whether I've mentioned it before. Suzanne Vega. Um, I think the album Suzanne Vega, Suzanne Vega. And the song is The Queen and the Soldier. Yeah. Um, I think we've, we've got to think about the Queen. That's all I'll say there. And also, I don't know whether it's on the same album, Night Moves. It's a sort of a prequel to The Queen and the Soldier. Do you know what? If you're a 90s child, you should know it anyway. But if you're not, well, you're not. It's a pleasant song. It's not going to disrupt your brain or anything. Well, it disrupts mine a little bit, but that's because I'm a little girl in the middle. That sounded wrong, didn't it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. And I, that, do you know what? I, I've said about the rainbow, so we'll leave that subject there, shall we? Judy Garland. I don't know. Do you think that was a little bit like Liza Minnelli? I don't know. Or uh, Obama's missus. What's her name? Michael. I'm rambling now, aren't I? I'm not even making sense. Oh, 
Oh, Queen and the Soldier and Night Moves. Yeah, I think. Just toss up. Do I just put them under? I'll tell you what. If you watch my video, you, uh, you, in the future, make sure you check. Or in the past, I might have put stuff on the videos. If you don't check, go down into them comments. I've not worked out how to use. How do you use community page? That's the other one. I don't seem to be able to. It might be something to do with the apps on the phone and the apps on the iPad. And I've not got a I've not even played, do you know what? I've got a brand new iPad, but it was not a lied. Ah, it's not a brand new one, it's brand new to me. 2017. Recon. Look at this dog. Come here, Clever boy. Look at that bloody dog. Come here, come here. Good lad. Hiya. Yeah, so. No, I've switched it on. I loaded up some stuff. <laughs> On to, I've got a guy who's like me, and he put some programs on the floor. I don't know, I don't know, I do this, but just, as far as I'm concerned, the problem comes. Um, I can't remember what the name of it is now, but it's like, it's like the late, latest suite of video editor from, for, for the Mac. The iPad seems easier, is that? I suppose that's the, the devil's work. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. When, when we went from film to digital, my mate Norm sort of fell over himself because he loved photography but he, he didn't know anything about Development of colour film, or black and white, or anything. Colour film was like really hard, and it was getting really expensive. So. It's all coming up. But the internet gave them a new lease of life, you know. So, so photography. And we used to have that icon in the Should we go too far tonight? I think we should go too far tonight. How long have we got on? 28 minutes. Um, see, it's gone again. Tell you what we'll do. I'll stop it and I'll let you see my face and I'll have a look at my face on camera as well and see how that works. We'll turn it round and just put well yeah. I don't know. I don't want to stop recording. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not going to show you this walk too much. Mm. Right, so. I think one of the other points we left on was Christ. And we left it on a religion where Christ didn't exist. So, at about 11, 
I had to start thinking. Let's remember, I changed schools at that age as well. I'm gonna just kill the end of this. I changed schools at the end of that as well. So, went up to the big school. I'll do early school. Probably outside, actually, outside school. We'll see. Um, and I went to a secondary modern school. Yeah, with a Rosler building. Um, and I got an RE teacher, which was weird because I'd never sort of had that before. Oh, God, I've got to show you these horses. Hold on. See, see how good Cap is, but now it's an animal. Look at this. How beautiful are they? Yeah, I'm looking. You got a lovely bum. I'm watching you. There's Putin, look. I'll just show you around here. Come here, Pooh. Come here. You stay with me. Now then. Come here, Pooh. Down. Down. Hello, are you friendly guys? Stay. Are you friendly? Hello. Are you the beautiful smoky one? I was watching you. You're going to jump away. Do you want to smell me? Do you know? You can have a smell. I'm safe, I promise. No. No. You jumped away at first, didn't you? Don't worry, Captain won't do anything. So he stays there. He'll be a good boy. Now then. Aren't they beautiful? Aren't you gorgeous? Oh, we're all coming up now. Do you want another shake? Are you going to say hello? Don't worry, he won't hurt you, I promise. Are you watching Captain? Captain's being clever. Wow, yeah, you're beautiful. Look at this dappled bum. Now then, you're gonna let me touch this forehead? Oh, they're all happy to see us now. Right, do you want to come and say hello to Captain? Captain's watching, see? He's such a clever boy. He's a good lad, isn't he? Let me see. Now then, he's beautiful. <laughs> this nose down here. <laughs> what? Are you smiling? <laughs> Lie down. You stay. Hello. Hello. You got him behind me now. So you stay behind me. Somebody's having a bum scratch. You're beautiful. Can we see your big eye? <gasps> Look at that then. Look at that. You're so handsome. Yes, you are. And you're pretty. Can we see your eye? Can we see your eyes? Yeah. Hello. What? Hello. Are you all coming to say hello now? Yeah. What? 
What? You want to scratch under the chin? You're beautiful. We've got your nose. We've got your nose again. Yeah. <laughs> you got that nose again. <laughs> what? What are you doing? What are you doing? Well, that's so good. Are you beautiful? Have you all come to have a look? Hey. I don't want to go now. I don't want to go now. You were all so worried. Tell the people that we've never met before, have we? You're nothing to do with me. Hello, yo. What? <laughs> what? What? Aren't you gorgeous? Them big eyes. Them big eyes. <laughs> You'll have this camera behind me if you keep up. You will. Are you telling? Do you look after these girls here? Yeah, do you look after them? Oh, I'm going to stand up now. I crouch down and it hurts. Give me that ear. No. <laughs> Should we say hello to you again? Hello, pretty. You're the one with the tittly nose, aren't you? You're the one with the tittly nose. Well, you're not having it. You're the one with the tittly nose. Oh, well. Aren't they beautiful? Well, I've totally lost where I was up to. Outstanding. Look at this big oak tree. Now then. Look at this boy here. You're such a clever boy. Go on, Pooh. This way. So then, I don't even know where we're up to. I think I was trying to tell you something about my religion and see how much do you know about the birth of Christ? Yeah, are you? <coughs> How much do you know about the religion of Herodia? How much do you know about the relationship between the son of Herod and John the Baptist? I don't know. I believe Christ. I believe in Christ. I do. And I believe that Christ came to save humanity. I do. <clears throat> um, we're sort of about to fight the same battle again. Can you see it yet? I wonder. I know other people can see it. Maybe not for what it is. You see it. It's not about religion, and it is. Oh God, they're the wrong words. They're the wrong words. The wrong words. The wrong words.
wet. Now, can I go down there? I've got to work out the topography here, haven't I? Now, I know this belongs to somebody, but I also don't know. Oh, suck it and see. Don't see any no through roads, that might be. Come here, Peg. Don't go rushing off down a road we don't know, buddy. Come here. We'll see if somebody shouts at us. No, I'm not going through somebody's yard. Come on, buddy. You might be able to tell. I've never come this way. I thought I'd just come and have a nose. <clears throat> Something about walking back down a path I've already come up that I'm, it's like just foreign, isn't it? You, cause I don't know. <laughs> Especially when you're walking it sort of, you know, regularly to go up a path and just to walk up and then back down. Oh look, never mind. That didn't even look as though it had been used, did it? I didn't believe the bells all the way down. It's going to be dark soon. Getting a lovely... Oh, oh, sorry about this, but... My legs don't know how to work sometimes when I'm moving. Oh. I think I'm too... Oh, I've got shit going on in my head and I'm trying to... Horses were pretty though, weren't they? I'll switch you off for a bit. There you go. I just thought I'd give you a view off the top of my... I don't know, you can't see much, can you? Uh, can I see anything? No, it's a decent view though, isn't it? And then, I'll see if I can find the view from the other side. But yeah, I've got a lot of hedges on this. Uh, the, this is again, uh, I think it's an extension to Willow Road. Um, I think we use it for green lighting and stuff. The councils have stopped adopting these roads, so people don't, do, you know, sometimes they come up on your sat nav if you've got an old one. Yeah. So they're not on your sat navs anymore. Um, they might be on old maps, I suppose. But a lot of them are, um, really, they were for transport, like mineral, weren't they? There's been a lot of dairy farms. Most of these trees you're looking at are oak trees, big ones. I don't know, but maybe you do look at that. Maybe you do watch. See, you see the dead spike goes up the centre. I would find better. That's an old lightning strike. See, you get them up the back here. I think I knew there was an old pair. I'm not even not on the leave that Right. I think that's part of the mill over there. So that first 
this Pablo, no, let me come closer. I said, big head, uh, village hill, and it's probably the other trees that have the children. Just. I go home and I just fill a camera. <laughs> trouble it's one of the reasons that I started coming out and sort of videoing things especially when we got this sort of technology you come home and you've got I you know I've got a thousand 4k frames here now and I can just pull them out okay I, I I've got to say that they're not the same sort of I suppose if you went into it, you could get adorations and, and all the other things, you know, lensing, focal depth, all that. But you've got to get different apps and different everything to do that. So, no, they're not a stills camera. Yes, they do produce adorations that look like aberrations, whatever, that look like other things, let's say. But, it doesn't stop them producing It's a green lane, you see the mess. Anyway. See. I met another old bloke and uh, I don't know, some of them you just you wouldn't want to film them because they probably wouldn't talk to you again. I've not seen that. A little bit of, but I think I told you about my mum singing. You can imagine what it was like, can't you? Sort of Bible studies, sort of three, four times a week. Um, well, you know, with mum, evenings, um, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturday evenings, Sunday, pretty much all day, apart from. I used to get chicken in a basket <laughs> on a Sunday afternoon in a pub. Mm. There you go. I used to look at chicken in a basket in a local pub. If you want to look it up, it's the Martin Inn in Bursco. Oh, Another pub played a lot in my life. My brain isn't saying things I'm, I'm going into that place. I, just, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to say to you, I hope you've enjoyed this little John out. I've got, I, I, I don't think there's any rush for anything now. You've just got to keep going, <laughs> I could say getting better better every day oh no that sounds like a fucking labour slogan doesn't it hey build back better oh, I don't know build 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 we need we need we need they need who needs I don't know right yeah I'll leave you on a view shall I the pretty oak tree. Last of the light. Thanks for coming, people. Where's my dog? He's hiding. <laughs> Thanks for coming, people. Honestly.
and everything is an adventure. Everything. And the only thing you've got to do is enjoy. Okay.